There was a moment in God of War 2018 where Baldur punched Atreus extremely hard and most of us thought Atreus was about to die but obviously he was strong enough to survive the blow but what would happen if Atreus died due to this we know that Kratos has developed a very strong connection with Atreus throughout the events of the first game and if Atreus was to die in this particular situation then Kratos would pretty much go back to the God of War 3 version where we saw him completely angry and just out for revenge so how would the whole scene look like first off this scene would play out but instead of Atreus surviving the blow he would end up dying but the whole missile to pricking Baldur's hand to break the curse would still play out the same so once the realization of Atreus dying comes up Kratos could absolutely go wild and just start fighting Baldur and since the curse has been broken as well Baldur ends up dying way before compared to the original game and seeing this version of Kratos would obviously be terrifying so this could set up the next game in this particular scene if it actually happened by maybe having Odin's ravens appear during the scene or even show a sudden transition through the eyes of a very well known god Heimdall and Heimdall could warn Odin that the ghost of Sparta has come back do not call me that then the screen fades to black concluding god of war 2018 fast forward to god of war Ragnarok the game starts off with a surprising scene where Kratos has ended up killing Freya as well this is due to how blinded he could be due to rage and being angry over Atreus's death so Kratos makes a plan to completely take down Asgard yes Asgard as a realm is blocked in the first game to enter but we have already entered the second game in the series so he makes his way to Asgard starts fighting but due to the huge numbers of Asgard in terms of troops as well as a load of different Aesir gods Kratos would end up losing the fight and would die so he then goes to Valhalla due to his death in battle where the Valkyries would help him and he would gain an army of Hellwalkers as well and suddenly Mimir would tell Kratos about a wolf who is present in the same place as Kratos and this would indeed be Fenrir the reason i see this is due to what is seen on the Yggdrasil cloth map for the game there is a sort of wolf depiction over here so this is just assuming the wolf to be Fenrir and it might also make sense since in the CG trailer Fenrir does appear with few Hellwalkers near his foot so once Kratos joins forces with Fenrir we see the both of them with the Hellwalkers come back to Midgard then Kratos Kratos thinks for a bit of time and Mimir also suggests a short trip to the Horn where the world serpent could be called we could see Surtur join in as an ally as well the reason i picked Fenrir and Surtur is because Fenrir is the one to kill Odin and Surtur is destined to destroy Asgard during the event of Ragnarok so that's the main reason for this selection so after all of this Kratos along with the many allies heads to Asgard then we see a sort of end game portal scene where Kratos is on one side and all of Asgard is in the opposite direction suddenly we see Atreus appear along with tons of giants including fey and this comes as a shock to kratos as well as the players but kratos is happy to see atreus as well as fey alive and fey would then reveal that they are from a different time a different jotunheim one time where the giants weren't killed by thor and the other aesir gods so we got a huge battle of the giants and the aesir just like ragnarok so this could be the whole scenario if atreus ended up dying due to the hit by balder so what do you guys think about this do let me know down in the comments and yeah i'll see you all in the next one